Hey animal lovers, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be updating on some of the pets and show what's new, talk about future plans, and maybe even do some unboxing later involving the new things. So I don't think I've mentioned on this channel yet about either of these things. Um, I might have said that I plan to get fish again in the future, like more than just a bed of fish, because I used to have a community fish tank, but all the fish died on the move. It's been a couple years since I had a community fish tank, but I wasn't quite ready to finish having one, so I'm finally going to start one again. It'll probably still be a while though before I get fish. But this time I wanted to go bigger because I would like to have an angelfish again and he was kind of sad in that 20 gallon long. They really need something taller and bigger because they're such a big fish, big tall fish. Although my angelfish did have a bent top fin so that did make him shorter but still. So I decided to get a 40 gallon tank which is my biggest fish tank yet and it's probably as big as I'm ever going to go. <laughs> it is a lot of water. I wanted to get a 40 gallon tank while I was at Petco getting my betta fish, but I learned that they don't do the dollar per gallon sale anymore, which stinks since now I was going to get a 40 gallon and it would have been awesome to get one for only $40. They were on sale, but only for 60 something dollars and normally they're like over $100, I think. But I decided to see if I could find one on Facebook marketplace first and in the meantime I got ready for one by building a stand for it and I also made one for my 20 gallon long tank that I still have that used to be my community fish tank but I have a different plan for that which I will get to but yeah two stands were made for aquariums so I just recently found a 40 gallon breeder tank and I want a breeder specifically because it will match the terrariums because well I'll just show it to you because it's here now <laughs> ta-da so it matches the size of the terrariums. So this is the stand built with just two by fours and the boards were eight feet and I followed this video from YouTube on how to build it so I'll link that in the description if you want to watch it. And here is the 40 gallon that I already cleaned and put some dirt in. <laughs> This is actually topsoil from the hardware store. It doesn't have any fertilizer or additives in it, so I heard that topsoil is safe for aquariums. I'm going to put gravel on top of it, which should be coming in the mail today. I'll see if I got enough, but I plan to plant some bamboo in here and let that grow before I get fish. And I'm thinking about using the already cycled filter media from this tank to to cycle this tank. I'm planning on planting more than just bamboo in here, so I'm sure the other plants will benefit from the dirt, if not the bamboo. I did put a light over the tank, hung it on the ceiling using a hook and chain and some string. They say the light should be at least 10 inches above the aquarium for growing any plant really, but especially if you're gonna do bamboo where the leaves will be out of the water. So yeah, this is going to be a future community fish tank, but first I've got some growing and cycling to do in here. So that's one new thing. Again, later I'll be unboxing some stuff that's for this tank. This is Rudolph, by the way. He is still doing okay. He has fin rot, which I tried getting rid of with um, salt baths, but they weren't really doing anything, so I stopped. And I haven't bought medicine yet because it's just really expensive and I kind of just want to wait and see if it gets any worse before buying medicine. But yeah, he's still very active and healthy. As for the rabbits, here is Poi. He got neutered yesterday, so he's hanging out in a smaller pen. That way I can cover the whole floor in a blanket so that he's not on any hard, slippery floor. Um, and I took away his hides and put a blanket over instead to create a hide. That way he can't go jumping on anything. And yeah, I took out his litter box, which I think when his pain medication is over with, I'll put back his old litter box since it does have a low entrance but I just wanted to be safer at the start by using puppy pads, just keeping everything flat. Anyway, he's doing good. He's just 
sleeping right now. And in about six weeks from now, he will finally be able to free range this place with Penelope, who is not spayed. <laughs> now to show you the other new thing, which will be a new future pet actually, is this 20 gallon long tank with another wooden stand built for it. I built it the same way as the 40 gallon it just has smaller measurements. I'm planning on cycling this tank from scratch since it will be a different animal to fish. I have some stuff coming in the mail for this tank as well. So I was trying to think of what I could put in a 20 gallon long that isn't a fish and axolotls, which are salamander, can be in a 20 gallon long, just one of them, and this is the absolute minimum size to have one in. There might be opportunity in the future to upgrade, but for now I think this will be okay. I already have some hides that I got while at the hardware store. I think they'll be big enough, um, but yeah, I've seen people use these in their axolotl tanks. Under it is a bucket that I'm planning on making a worm farm out of, which will be the axolotl's food, and they'll also eat the compost that I often have from rabbit food and then when the worms break down the compost i can use that to feed my rabbit food garden that's outside so it's like a whole circle of life going on <laughs> and there will be excess worms anyway so a good way to get rid of those excess worms is to feed them to an axolotl so i do have worms coming in the mail not today but soon i need to finish making that I'll probably make a video showing how I make it. I didn't make a video showing how I built these because I already copied someone else's video, so you can just watch their video. That pretty much covers the new stuff and future plans. While I wait for stuff to arrive in the mail, I'll go ahead and feed the rabbits because it's time to do that, and then I'll also do a water change on the beta tank. <laughs> Bamboo unexpectedly came today as well, so I guess I really do need to set that tank up to plant it. Guess we can start with the bamboo, see if it's alive. <laughs> oh great, there's styrofoam. Or is that called packing peanuts? They're not shaped like peanuts, so I don't know. I don't want the rabbits eating these. There's a lot in there. So I see green leaves good start. There's supposed to be 50 stalks and all of them 8 inches tall. I don't know if the 8 inches includes the leaves or not. I'm hoping not. Yeah, they still have a lot of growing to do. Well, they look green. Pretty tall. So far, I recommend this batch if you want to buy bamboo online. I will, of course, link everything. <laughs> this is a lot. I definitely didn't need 50, but maybe I do. <laughs> it looks very healthy and pretty, and I really hope it survives living in a fish tank and grows. Next box. Okay, so this is for the 40 gallon. Um, I already have one of these, but smaller. That will be for the 20 gallon. I got an air pump. This is the black kind, not the blue. I wanted to try it out. It comes with a check valve, so that's the reason I got it. I went with the 60 to 100 gallons instead of 40 gallons because 
this one was cheaper. And I think it has two air outlets. That might be good for splitting it between a, an air stone and a sponge filter instead of using a T connector because that can be a little complicated. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is huge. <laughs> it's humongous. No wonder, because it's for 60 to 100 gallons. I hope it's not too loud. I heard that it can be pretty loud, even though it says whisper. We'll see. Okay, yeah, it has two outlets. Oh, it comes with two check valves. That's nice. Oh, it actually comes with T connectors too, as well as an air control valve. Can you do this one next? Maybe I'm not confused. I thought this was something else for a second, but no. This is, well, I'll put it on the screen, a picture of what I bought. These must droop down. Anyway, this is for the axolotl tank. A nice uh, place to hide. Okay, so this is the other thing that I thought it was at first. Um, this is also for the axolotl tank, and I got two of them. They glow under blue light, and axolotls, they glow under blue light as well. So I thought, why not get some glow-in-the-dark plants <laughs> to glow along with the axolotl? Some black bags. Oh, these are the sponge filters for both aquariums. They can stick on the side, which takes up less floor space. Comes with suction cups. This one I bought to come with extra stuff, so it still comes with suction cups. But then it also comes with airline tubing and some other kind of valves. I'm not remembering what these are for, but yeah. Okay, last box. This one, it's heavy. Must be the gravel. Oh, gravel and sand, because I'll be doing sand in the axolotl tank. Here's the sand. It's black sand. And then I got a net, like a small shrimp net. I like using this kind of net for fish instead of my green net that has bigger holes and it's not as soft. I think it extends too, so that's cool. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that is not enough gravel at all. I spent way too much money on this amount of rocks. <laughs> so this is the gravel meant for the 40 gallon it's five pounds and i didn't want to get like really small gravel but a bit larger i wonder what this is oh i got digital thermometers for monitoring the temperature in my aquariums it's especially important for the axolotl that the water stays at a colder temperature so i did get fans which are still coming. And then I got a new uh, gravel cleaner. This is for the axolotl because I want him to have his own so that there's no contaminating between tanks. And it looks like there's one more thing, a kit of plant stuff. All I needed was tweezers for feeding worms, but I decided to go with this pack that comes with a couple of tweezers as well as scissors and this thing that are helpful for planting plants in aquariums and trimming them. It's all a lot taller than I thought it would be, which is a good thing because then I just won't get my hand wet. It's one of the tweezers. Now I gotta go try planting this bamboo. Not really sure what I'm doing. The internet won't tell me. Right, it's the pebbles. I think I'll put what's here around the bamboo so that they're more secure since there's not enough to cover the whole thing but I'll plant more of these first gonna add a little bit of water for now this is dechlorinated and I added some Indian almond leaves to soften the water right now it just looks like a bamboo forest with the swamp <laughs> So I ended up putting this bin here and emptying the first drawer and I put in the air pump to make it quieter and I think it's quiet enough. It's not a tight drawer so air does come in and cords can fit out through the back. I already have it all hooked up. 
So I think I'll put like fish food and stuff in here, which I'm sure will make it even more quiet. I expected this orange water. It just needs water changes. I think I'm stopping there for the day. Thank you for watching and look forward to more videos about these new tanks and like this video if you enjoyed. God bless you all and I'll see you next time. Bye!